In this video, I'm going to show you how to attach the snap placket to the Waves and Wild over it alls. And first, I'll show you how to get nice square straps and then how to do the lining hack where you have the lining attached to the side seam so it doesn't roll up as easily. And then we'll get onto the snap placket. So keep on watching. I have my main and lining pieces attached right sides together and I've surged along the bottom edge of the lining pieces to give it a more finished look. To get the straps nice and square when you have them turned right sides out, instead of going in one continuous motion, you want to surge it in three steps. So you go across the top and then fold that over and surge down the other two sides to hold it in place. I have interfacing attached to one side, the lining side, and I've done a one inch square for the back piece and then a longer one by two inch rectangle for the front because I like to do adjustable snaps and I have the extra snaps on the front instead of on the back because I don't want it to be resting on top of their shoulder when not in use. Here I have my over it alls turned right sides out and you can see I got the nice square straps. I used these chopsticks to poke out those corners. These are sharpened in a pencil sharpener and then the one on the right has had the tip cut off and then been sanded a little bit so I have a blunt one and a more pointy one. Now I'm going to show you how to do the lining hack from Sasha Robinson. I've linked her video in the description box, so definitely check that out. This is how she gets the linings attached to the side seam. So it makes it a little easier there. So what you do is you have your straps turned so they're right sides out and you have your front and back right sides together. Then you take either the front or the back, it doesn't matter, but you fold it over the other side like this. So it's sandwiching one side that's facing right sides, or that's facing wrong sides together. And the other one is right sides together sandwiched around it like this. And then you pin nicely and you can just do a straight stitch. So all the way down and the end result is this. So when it's turned around, see how that is nicely attached and it won't roll up as easily. Now I have the side nicely clipped and just to illustrate that this can work either way, I now have the back lining piece flipped over toward the front. And just to conceptually think about this, the lining pieces are facing right sides together and the main body pieces are facing right sides together. So that's why this works by just flipping over the one lining piece. So now I'm gonna take this over to my machine and surge in a straight line all the way down. And then of course you can do it on a regular machine using a zigzag or stretch stitch. So we're getting to the last couple steps here. If this was the regular version, I would surge the crotch here and then attach the cuffs and it would be all done. But we're doing a snap placket. So instead I'm going to turn it right sides out. And I have, instead of cuffs, I have these folded wrong sides together and they're going to get attached here like this. So I will surge the raw edges together and remember you want the cuff fabric facing the same direction as the rest of your outfit so that when this flips down it's still facing the right way. Can't tell really because of the pattern placement here but that's how that works. I've got my cuff clipped to the bottom of the leg. You do have to stretch it to fit. And then I've already done that and surged it onto the other leg. So you can see that here. And I slipped a little at the end, so it's not perfectly 
to the edge there, but I'm hoping that'll be fine once I'm attaching the snap placket here. Here I have my snap plackets cut out. I use the quilting ruler and rotary cutter to do this. And I use some scrap interfacing. So it's a little bit less wide than the cotton lycra, but that's okay because when this is folded over, this is the edge that gets overlocked to the crotch of the over it alls. So this is gonna get trimmed off a little and encased in thread anyway. So it's okay that the interfacing doesn't quite reach the edges there. Here I have attached my iron-on interfacing to the wrong side of my cotton lycra. And just a reminder, when you're attaching the interfacing, you wanna have the bumpy glue side facing down. Otherwise that will stick to your iron. Ask me how I know that. And when you are ironing it on, you don't wanna be moving the iron. You're pressing, hold for 10 seconds, lift, press, and so on until the whole thing has been attached. Here I have my other snap placket that has interfacing attached, and then I've folded it and ironed it flat this way. And I just have it chilling under the quilting ruler so that it'll hold its shape better. And now I will do that to the second one. The final preparation step for the snap placket is to iron over the edges 3 eighths of an inch and then fold it back on itself like this so that you have the raw edges encased and I'm just using these clips to hold it in shape until the next step when we attach it to the crotch of the over it alls. The final step of the main construction is to add the snap placket. So here I have the raw edges together and I've clipped the placket along the inner leg. It needed to be stretched just a tiny bit so that's why it's really important to be using stretch interfacing. And then I've also basted the very end here. And that is a pain in the butt because you have to pull out your other machine if you've been using a serger like me the whole time. But it's definitely worth it. Makes it a lot neater in the end. So then you just serge this on. And I've done that to the other side already. And I finished it with a zigzag top stitch to hold that together. And I think it looks really nice. I did have a little trouble getting over the seam right here but it still looks fine so now i'll do the other leg and then we'll get on to the snaps the final step is applying the snaps and what i've done here is used a water soluble marker this is mark be gone and it just comes out with water and i've marked seven dots according to the pattern instructions equally distant i'm using these metal snaps instead of the cam plastic ones that I am going to use for the shoulders because they're less bulky for the crotch for when the baby is in a carrier, for example. And also my plastic size 20 regular length prongs didn't fit through this anyway, the uh, double folded over area. So I'm just using the metal a little bit farther away. And I've already done the other side. You can see since this is the ring side, I have the dots showing through, but that'll come off easily. And I'll be right back to show you the finished product. All right, and these are my finished over dolls. I have the plastic cam snaps up on the top and I did the adjustable length. So on this side, it's longer. On this side, I have it snapped down on the shorter one. And for my snap placket, I have the back coming up to the front and I did the male snaps on the front because it reminds me of um, just like a regular onesie when you're snapping it up like that and of course these blue dots will wash out so please uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos and comment down below if you have any suggestions for what I should film next I'm thinking of doing a review of plastic versus metal snaps and also a video uh, showing how to surge around corners. All right, thanks so much and happy sewing.